Welcome to Satisfactory Update 4. My name is Neil Aus and we have reached episode... Is it really only episode 4 of our Let's Play? Nah, it must be level number 5, isn't it? I just have to check. It must be number 5. Yes, number 5 it is. We are at number 5 episode and uh, I think we're making really good strides for it because today we are actually going to make steel. So last time we got the power, the coal power done. So we have, well... At, at the current level, I would say plenty of power, but it's going to be used as soon enough as we see. What we're going to do is we're going to do some coal power, and it, that means it's going to consist of two different things. I will just uh, try to do some, some things while I explain what we're going to do. I'm going to start doing it because, well, you know, why not? And you can see here there's lots of concrete. That is what one of the things that we absolutely must do. So we are back here in our base and what, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, we want to make a platform for steel. That's one thing. And then we want to grab the steel, the coal and the iron to go into the steel. And the thing is, how do I want to do that? Or more likely, where do I want to do that? Now my answer is, I want to make it here and then up. So basically, what I want to do is make seven tiles this way. That is north, south, one, two, three, four five six seven and then i have to do one more because it's actually going to be put on number seven and i'm going to go here and one two three four five come on six seven and i'm going to put that one in here you can't if you place it here you place it on top and i don't want that so i'm gonna to have to place it there because now it's sort of the top of the glass plate is at the top of the front of the girders here. But if I then place it next to it, it works. Like that. I'm going to build one of these. I am going to build a socket. Our new and I hope you think it's good way of doing it. I'm uh, I'm quite happy with what we've how we've designed this. It, uh, it, it seems pretty cool, I think. So, we're going to do the same thing at this location. That means we're going to have to, unfortunately, take this out and replace it. And replace it with that one. And, you know, um, yeah, there's not going to be anyone here. You know what is also really important if they do that? Because all this is just shut down. So let's get this one in there. Uh, that might be... And you can actually just drag it over there. Okay. And then drag that over to that corner. Okay. And from this one, go in there. Cool. This will now also carry the electricity up to that location and complete it with Tara. I think that is going to be a supremely easy way of doing it. And we are now safely up to our location. This is where we want to build. Boop. This is going to be our location for steel. Do you see it already? It's a good place. We're going to kind of run into that one, I think. And we're kind of going to run into that one. So let's uh, start by doing it. Now, we have several different options for how to build the steel. One is you can either build the facilities out by the materials or you can build, get the materials somewhat. Oh, okay, we're stuck here. Get your materials back to your base and then from there on you can build it. And I've decided in this playthrough that I want to basically build around this area. Just gradually just get it out there. And that means I'm going to drag a lot of materials in. I hope that's going to be a good idea. I have no idea. Uh, so let's see. One, two, three, four. Oh, no. Are they, how are they alternating? Who, who who does that? Who does that? Seriously. What would be the... Why would that be the case? Really? Oh, uh, yeah. So... Uh, uh, let's see. So one of the things I also did was uh, started the man because I started actually, and I forgot to say that I started by being out there exploring. We got uh, six hard drives, and the reason why we do the hard drives is because we are desperately, desperately, desperately looking for the steel recipe. So after you unlock steel, that's for me the best time to go out in the world and find uh, materials you want. So we're gonna keep keep just throwing this one in, hoping that we get some steel get the alternate steel recipe because that alternate steel recipe is so damn good all right i'm gonna count again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh eleven twelve <clears throat> twelve 
12, 13, 14. That's going to be fine. Here, I'm going to get it. That is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That is as close as we can make it. All right, so that is going to be our location for steel, I hope. And we just need to make it. I also need to make the the girders below, but I can do that whenever the hell I feel like it, right? We don't need to be part of this. This one. <clears throat> so basically, I want to make sure that all our materials, to a certain extent, come back here. Because if they come back here, then we have much easier time to just grab stuff. And I want to make something that... Obviously, I don't want to make a spaghetti base, but I want to make something that is where you can see the entire base when you run, run around. You want to be, or I want to be able to have us or have you at a moment's notice sort of see all of the rest of the factory. So I don't want to go like one kilometer away and build a dedicated I don't know, steel facility and then, yeah, great. Uh, and then from there, we can... I, I, we have to go there and then you, we can either see that one or we can see the rest of the base. So I want to build it like here so you can sort of in the background go like, oh yeah, this is the reinforced iron plates and that's the, so the initial hub and over here we have uh, the rotors. So you can see the builds nearby. Oh my God, I'm bad at this. I'm not going to do this. Uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to drag this one out here because I know that I have coal out, out this direction, I think. It takes forever to scan. Okay, so we got one that looks like it's up this way, but it isn't. It's actually that way. 1,200 meters is the closest one I have. It's actually not at all the closest. This is the one where we have our power, but I don't want to use the one we use for power because I want that location to be exclusively for coal power. And that means we have that one or that one. And I want this one because this is actually only a single pure iron, oh sorry, a single pure coal location. That means I can at this moment only take 120 out of it. But once I have, oh wow, that was so close. <clears throat> once I have the steel unlocked, then I can also unlock Mark three belts and they are going to be 120. So with a bit of uh, love, Yes, love. Uh, we can upgrade. We can upgrade to tier three belts. We can upgrade the miner to provide the what two hundred and seventy. So I'm going to design my steel towards the two hundred and seventy. I think this is where I want to go. Oh, we also have that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I don't want to be sort of right on top of it. But then uh, let's go out this way. And what I need to do is I need to go like this. Then afterwards I need to build these. Then after that I need to build uh, this one and that's gonna take a while so we'll just uh we'll just do that and then we'll we'll i'll see you over at this uh when that's done and now we have uh, done our homework here i will yeah i'll uh, i'll just run out here so we can see how beautiful and aesthetic and awesome this is and i'm going all the way down here to where we made the turn this is basically where we left off i think here and then we take all the way down there and we're going to scan for the coal as we are going to do that also we are going to get some iron in here as well so we are going to have two belts at this moment one for coal and one for iron and once we get that ping up here that should be straight ahead yep it is and then what i'd like to do oh we have one there uh what i'd like to do though is also to scan for iron just because because I think there's an iron location with that, uh, the speedrunner start, the best start that, oh, did you know that there's a really good, I know there's a good start, but since I'm not a speedrunner, I'm not allowed to take that one. There you go, that one. There is a really good start out here with tons of iron. I just, I'm not so keen on it because it's in a boring location. Uh, so, yeah, that's the thing. I'm going to ping again because it's going to run out anytime soon. And come on. Where is it? It must be like right out here. Is it right there? 300? Is it? Is it all the way out here? It must be. Oh yeah, like that? It doesn't seem like the right place, does it? 
No, it doesn't. It doesn't look like the right place. Huh. There. What? Oh, they, they've faded. It's right there. And uh, no, that's not it. There must be another one. There must be another one further in. There's one here. There's one there. No, it must be this one then. I just can't recognize it. Uh, it it's that one. Never mind. We're going to continue onwards to, to this location and get all the way towards the end. This is where we will try to get this. So what I want to do is I want to make... Hmm, let's see. This one has now a pillar beneath it so that uh, it's not a sky platform. Uh, mainly because I want to make some, some of these and I can't milk them downwards. That's kind of annoying. But, you know, it is what it is. So we're going to go to our here. And I think I want to just make it in the middle. Or do I want to make it here? I think I want to make it here. And then I'll take my belts. But I'll make Mark II belts because we kind of got a lot of those. And that will go in here. So the intention is that I'll just make wee, that bait out here. <clears throat> but we first need to go down. Yeah, so uh, I need to break it all the way up there. Oh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Oh, no. I made a mistake. Oh, damn it. Ah, well, we're going to have to go up and down a few times. Uh, let's see. So I need to make a miner at this location. I don't have that. So let's make instead a equipment workshop there. And also that means portable miners. I can make two of those. Because I need two miners, one for iron, one for cop for, for steel. No, one for coal. There. Alright, so we are going to uh, we're going to build this. That means we have power up here, and I will need to get one miner. Let's make it like this. And I will get the belts on here. So what I need to do is I need to make power from oh power from here into 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 here for example and then I need to drag it upwards in order for us to drag it upwards I am going to need some ladders so if you have vertigo this is going to be lovely for you because we are going to climb this monstrous monstrous ladder Whoop. and then I can do I love this animation where you can see it on the you can see we are standing here and there I'll just hook it to this one. This one doesn't really matter how how much, how often this is here. And I need I need to do it like this. Look down. Go up. Go up as far as we can. And maybe just keep going. Here. Get drag the power up. Uh just drag it to that one. Should be fine. keep going up <laughs> we probably have to go up and down this one a few times I'll do it two lanes or two iterations there and get the power where's the power it's there and just hook it here and then probably able to get it all the way up yep so we should have power on this this line now keep going up here and see if Ah, it goes too far, too far up. That's just really weird because it, it goes into these. This is one entity. So I shouldn't drag the max length. I should just do it like this. And then that should be okay. Perfect. We are now up here. And the one thing I was, I was mentioning that I was not doing correct is the fact that I wanted this one. Uh, just go close to it there because I think that from this location I can actually I should be able to jump on this one right there and this is good this is very good and I think this one is powered is it it's red 
Why is it red? It should be yellow. Oh, why is it red? No power. Did I, did I forget something? I must have forgotten something. <sighs> um, can I... I can do that. Yeah. A whole lot of no power. Oh well. That's kind of unfortunate. Oh yeah, and before anyone mentions anything, I don't care about my links here, my 90 degrees, although I did, I should get some points for making this absolutely perfectly 90 degrees. All right. So somewhere along the line, this part is uh, not powered, but that, the good thing is, as soon as it gets powered, it will start working. And can we just switch to this? Because there's no way I'm gonna fall down, right? I should just uh, be able to climb this much faster. And, you know, is it actually what I want? Is this what I want? Is this what I want? Because I think I'd much rather want something else. Yeah. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's, let's do something. I am going to drag this all the way from up here over to where we saw the iron. Then I'm going to jump down and we're going to find the iron so we can also hook that up here as well. So that means... I'm going to go here. Uh, this one is a Mark II belt, and this one has to go back. So we just run as far as we can here until it loses connection. There we go. And that means it's going to be here. Keep going. And I am then going to scan there and scan for iron so we know where that is. And this one just keeps going until that location. So this is the iron we want to get. All right, let's uh, let, let me do that, and we'll I'll see you at the iron. All right, so we are coming up on the iron deposit. I just felt like <laughs> hitching a ride on these for no reason at all. And let's see, that's probably the one. We are going to smash this little. They're always behind you, no matter what. They're always behind. What's that? I told you, it's always behind. Oh, no matter what, they're always behind you. All right, we're going to do a bit of rock you, rock you for this one. We are going to tap it. I, you can see over right in the horizon, you can see I built a little tower and it's good. I'm going to build this one. So you go back here. We still have a kind of the issue that we don't have any power, but I kind of like it because the fact that we don't have any power means that it... Uh, uh, let's get back to here. The fact that we don't have power means that I can... I don't have to... If I built something wrong, for example now... If I don't like it, then now it would start actually filling this one up. And if I have to deconstruct it, I would have to deconstruct the all of the iron on the belt as well. And, you know, it is... I might make a mistake here and there. And we're going to switch to this one. Just clean out whatever is in the way. Good. We'll cut through all the shrubberies. And that one is definitely in the way. Come on, chop, chop. Good. And, well, this is in the way. So, we're heading towards that one. That one, that's good. Yep. And from here, no, it can't go in one because then it'll clip. So, I get up here and I get there. So, what we have now is we have... Oh, Let's get that one out of the way. We have everything we need. We except we don't have the power, but I think I know where the power is coming from or is not coming from. So I need to all I need to do is now drag the two belts back home and switch on the power and just wait a bit. Once I've waited a bit, then they will come in. And there. So I have this one. So now we have these two out here. Somewhere. Like that and the other one which will just be for now just aligned cool so I'll drag these two belts back home that's gonna be a long way I might even run out of even though I have an inventory full of this I might even run out uh, one more thing is that uh, we also have the mem 
We are still researching things. So what do we want? Uh, steel rotors. I definitely want that because uh, when you meet to make status, you need steel anyway. So it might be easier to make those together. And this is pretty easy. You can always just build the man, put it in, throw it away. As long as you have another one, I think you still need to have another one on the map, which I do. So let's uh, drag the whole thing back and uh, get ready to start building. And here we are, we can see now the materials are coming back in. We are back here on our platform and it's looking amazing. We got coal back here, we got iron coming in. Perfect, and we are ready to start building. So what is it we want to build? Now comes the design part. And that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be tricky, but I have a plan, I have a plan. Uh, the first plan is to figure out just the idea of it. So in the meantime, I have, oh, let's also look at the ma'am. One more recipe done. Uh, they are steel screws. Everyone loves the steel screws. I'll take some steel screws. And we have the last one going up. Okay, so in the meantime, we did actually get the solid steel ingot while building. Uh, the reason why this is so much better is it takes 40 plus 40 and then gets 60 out. So it's super effective here. So it goes 40 to 60. If I look at the normal one, and then it's 45 to 45. So you get much better yield at the cost of one extra production step. The production step being the fact that you need iron ingots instead of iron, but that's pretty simple. So for, for that, I get a much higher yield. Instead of a one-to-one, -one, then I get a, I don't know, 1.5 to one. So pretty good, right? Yeah, 1.5. So what I want to do is this one. I actually want this one to rub, operate a bit slower at 75%. At 75%, what, 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 75%, yes. So it will output 45 and it'll only consume 30, right? Why are we doing 30? Uh, because, well, then this one is gonna fit. Let's uh, let's start by making it here and then, well, that sucks. And this one will then be, so this is in the middle in one tile. This is going to be the middle in the next tile. It seems like exceedingly far away. It seems uh, kind of wasteful to have this much space between them, doesn't it? Yeah. So maybe what I want to do is actually take this one. Oops and just accept that it will not be, it'll be here, yeah? Hmm. Let me see, this output will now still be online, so that's good, so that means that can go into, that's definitely gonna be here, right? So. Nothing goes out of this location. That's good. It's very, very close to the edge. This one, there might be some balance, belts and balances and stuff like that. Okay, I'm just uh, just trying to figure out. Okay, so this one, I'll have my coal belt up and the iron belt down. Iron belt comes here. Then it has to merge. Let's build it here. Okay, so we will design it towards assuming that each of these belts are Mark III belts. That means they will bring in 270 per, per minute, <laughs> never a second, 270 per minute inbound. And each of these will consume 30. So I need nine of these. That also means nine of these because they will also be scaled down like this. And this one, I don't know why I keep doing this because I'm, it's not the final location. And well, I can do that and I can copy it. Maybe that's something. So I'm going to figure out if I make it. Okay, let's see. Uh, I am going to start by making that one. This is the splitter. The splitter will be at this one. Where is it going to be? I think it's going to be there, right? Yes. So this is the splitter and then I take And normally I would always place it in the middle, but it doesn't fit here and it doesn't fit the other way. So we'll do it here. Then I'm going to take my foundry, which will be placed on the middle here, but as far over until there is a connection. All right, inbound. 
I'll go in, oops, I'll go in here, paste, 75%, and then we'll go on to the next one, which will be, no, a spelter. We haven't really talked about what I want to have in this, but I just, that's probably going to be a good design. Yes. And what I'll do for the coal, the coal will come up on this path here. That will be, you can see now there's a connection, the blue line. I'm going to call it a blue line. I know there's teal, turquoise, whatever line. And then I'm going to build it one, two, so that this one gets in the right location. And I'm going to build it up oh, down there and in. And these two go up. And that is basically a unit with that one in as well. That's basically a unit, right? So it goes in here. Iron gets smelted, goes in. This takes the coal and the iron at 30 per second. And then it comes minute, minute, 30, 30 per minute. And then we need to figure out what it is we want. Because there are two steel products we want. We want the steel beams and the steel pipes. In the beginning, we want a lot of steel beams. Also, steel beams takes four of these. Two here. And that one and this one is yeah. So four steel beams to or uh, four, four steel ingots to one steel beam. So that's pretty miserable. And the other thing that I want is steel pipes. This is 30 in, 20 out. So if this one produces 30 out, then it's a one-to-one. -one. So this is per perfect, right? No, this is producing 45 out, 45 out. So I have two of these and I need three of these. So let's see if that fits. It should be. It should fit if I build this one and that one. I need to make it a three to two or two to three, three to two, two to three. I don't know. That one. And where is the most feasible location it could be placed? I could, I think it's going to be here. Yeah, I can't really imagine that it's going to be closer than this. So let's build it. Oh, we're going to run out of things. Uh, this is not the right location because this uh, is middle to middle and I don't want middle to middle. I'll take two over. I want input to input to output, input to output. Yes. This one, paste, got it. And these two, 45 out plus 45 out, goes into 30 in for the steel ingots, 30 in for the steel pipes, and 30 in for the steel pipes. Good. All right, that's uh, pretty simple. Now we just need to figure out how do we get those two to merge over here. So I think the first one is easy because that's going to be a direct insertion, right? Right, 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 right. Please give me. Is it? Yes. All right. So the 45 coming in here will split between this one and out here. And there's there's been a lot of comments that don't really seem to, sorry to say that, understand how splitters work. Uh, I'll use this as an example because it's an excellent example of how they actually work. So, here. And it's it's okay if you don't really know how that works. All right, so I get 45 out. In the beginning, it will split 22.5 plus and 22.5. That's how it goes. Whatever many inputs or outputs you have, that's how many it will split. It'll not go like prioritize the middle or prioritize anything. That's not how it works. It goes in, it has two outputs, so they get half each. So this one gets 22.5, that means it's starving. This one gets 22.5, so which will then go in here. But I will also make another one. This is also going to be a bouncer. Mm, I think it's here. And we can just make that between here. And I can then make that one directly in. All right, so at this point, we are, this one is doing the same. 45 goes out, 22.5 that way, and 22.5 that way. That means this one is starved, it only gets 22.5. This one is starved, it only gets 22.5. But this one is oversaturated because this gets 45. So what happens when we hook it up is that this one will be filling up, and this buffer will increase to 100. But once it goes to 100, it'll backlog, it'll backlog, it'll backlog, and more will then come in here because this one can only, con it'll try to put 22.5 that way, but it can't, so it'll just only be able to put 15 that way, and therefore, 
and uh, the rest remaining 30 will go that way. So over time, and this is just going to take like maybe tw 10 minutes or something, 20 minutes, whatever, doesn't matter. Then this will balance out to be 30, 30, 30. Perfect, right? That makes sense. I hope it does, because that's how it works. And that makes it a lot more simple to work with. So I'm going to just uh, build a few more. We, I think if I have nine of the big foundries, mm -hmm, then then what would be... I'm just thinking here. Is that correct? And then it's going to be like this. Yep. That's going to be four. Uh, and I think I need... Okay, so the first or the last four will be steel pipes. So this one should be going in here. One, two. One, two. And then the remaining five will be used for, or the, actually technically the first five, will be used for making the steel beams. Because I want the steel beams in the beginning to be prioritized because the steel beams... Is that's the one we need for building? Oh, is it is it working? It is working. There, uh, steel beams is what we need to make the Mark III belts, and Mark III belts is what makes us actually f do the whole thing. Because right now, if I only get 120 in, it's only going to fill up one, two, three, four. It'll basically pretty much never get it down there. I did see a mem upgrade, so let's go there and get the last one. Uh, we got some wet sheets, moist sheets. Oh, compacted coal. Uh, compacted coal is. It's, there's something that needs compacted coal, and I can't remember what it is. Um, I can't remember what it is. I'll take the wet sheets. Maybe I'll I'll mistake it, but I think someone like the moist sheets, moist moist sheets. Mm -hmm. That's that's not inappropriate at all. Good thing. There. And we're out of. <clears throat> we're now out of. Um, what are they called? Up. Oh. Here, we are out of modular frames. Cool. But these four will go in here. And that means this one will be the first one to go into a direct placement of... It's going to be that location and look for the blue line. There. There again. And I can now build this one. I'll just scale this down to 45. Boom. I think this is a much easier way to do that. Which means I get like 11.25 out of this. Cool. So I think that we got the idea now. We get six of these making steel pipes. That's going to be an output of 60 pipes per minute. And then we have five of these making making steel beams. That's going to be 55, 56 point two five um, beams per minute. And... That only, of course, works when I have more inbound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the rest because now I showed you the design and then we can set it up and then I can, uh, we, can, we can hook it up and see how it performs. So this is the completed design and it is ready to go. And uh, I think it's a, it's a really neat design. So let's uh, walk through it in a bit more detail. I know that there's been some comments about like it's hard to really understand what's going on. So let's reiterate, even though for me, since I've been looking at it and building it for so long, then it's completely intuitive. Well, okay, it's not completely intuitive, but you know what I mean. I understand what it does. We have on the top line here in the back, that's coal coming in. And on the line you can see here in the middle, it's iron coming in. The iron goes into the first, the back smelter to become iron ingots at 30 per minute. Then the coal coming up here and goes in to the foundry and the steel ingots or the iron ingots go into the steel foundry as well with 30 of each per minute. And then I get 45 outbound for each foundry. So each foundry will give me 45 steel ingots per minute. That's 405 in total, very nice. And then I take these two combined, that's going to be 90 steel ingots per minute. I'll do the elaborate split and merge, and that means I get 30 plus 30 plus 30 ingots, and that becomes outbound 60 steel pipes, uh, 20 plus 20 plus 20 steel pipes, plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 steel pipes. So it's actually 
120 and outbound. And that's also why I built made this pipe, this belt a Mark II instead of a Mark I. I erroneously said that it was 60, but it's actually 60 here and 60 there, so it's 120. On the other side, further up, I have, oops, these ones. Uh, they are all set to steel ingots, and they are going to be producing 11.5 per minute. And all I need now is to hook it up. I've just deliberately made a little space here so that we could easily hook it up. And that will go in there and there. And so it is time for us to enjoy the fruits of our leather. Oh my god. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. It's 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 kind of deliberate. Well, wow, that was that was kind of awful. <laughs> uh we're gonna go run back up there. I I wanted to have a nice little uh, tour of my base, so that's why I did uh, this, of course. Uh I'll put that one here. Yeah. Well, I, I, I think this the base is so nice that I wanted to enjoy these rides just a bit more. Well, the problem is that now we don't get to see the, the switch on just at the beginning. doesn't matter. It's going to take quite a while to actually get anywhere. And we will need to let it run for a bit. So what, what we're doing now is we are going around checking that... Okay, so the first, first two are working. That's good. The first should be working. Yep, we get some steel beams in here. That is good. We are getting the first steel beams. Yay! And they will go in here. We haven't even gotten them in here yet. So it takes a while. And this one will probably not get much. Because you will see that... Because of the manifold pattern. Manifold pattern being that... Oops, they are sort of splitting out. I'm just going to reiterate it. I've explained it a few times. But I think it's super crucial. So each one of these... Will split it 50 50 50 so there's two, one oh, sorry i'm sorry i'm trying to make stand still for a second 120 in it splits into two that means 60 in here 60 down the line this one obviously can't take 60 so it'll start filling up like this Boop. and once it fills up which is what we're going to see right now there we should start seeing this belt actually get stuck now it only moves at 30 per minute. And that means the other one here, which is a Mark II belt, is no longer getting... You can see there, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Ah, 1, 2, 3. So what we're seeing here is that this is now 90 per minute coming in. And the 90 per minute will be splitting then in 45 plus 45. This is a, As this is being 45... It's also too much. That one also scale up, but it will scale up slower. And that means it goes 45 down the line. Eventually, the 45 will become 60 when this one is taking all it needs. So, But right now, it's 45. That means 22.5, 22.5. And that's when they start starving already. Uh, that also means that by the time we get down here, we're talking about like one goes in. And it, it just continues down the line. And eventually, maybe it'll go all the way down there. So... Not great. Uh, we It's going to take quite a while for us to get it. So what we have here is we have a number of the steel beams. What we need to do, though, is in our hub, is we need to make, to research the green. No, well, no why would I say green? We need to research the Mark three belts. And that takes one 200 of the steel beams. And it takes 100 of the steel pipes. And once I do that, then I'm going to need like a thousand steel beams to actually uh, build, upgrade this one. So, you know, it's going to take quite a while before we can actually do anything. But we have the beautiful build up here. The one thing I should be looking at is power. Okay, I can't do that here. We're going to go to this corner and look at power. So right now we're using about 400. And we have 600 from, 600 from the cold part and then we have an extra capacity from the biomass burners that i really don't want to use but we do have it and also an interesting thing is that when we research mark three belts we also get the battery but i deliberately don't want to go into that this episode because that's going to be a bigger issue and a new thing and that's going to be something we want to do next time but this is going to be a massive upgrade when we get that so i will just wait a bit so we can unlock the mark three belts because that's kind of a big thing we want to do. 
Okay, so a bit of time has passed, and I uh, I wanted to spend the or I wanted to have some time pass because I wanted to make sure that we could uh, we we could let this accrue up uh, up in our steel production. So I spent the time on making this into nice glass. And that's very nice and. Wow, I, I just built this so that I could make it would be super easy for me to get there. Never mind, it's it's close to super easy. There we go. Now I'm gonna go up there and we're gonna go here. I can't quite jump from one to the other, but almost. We're gonna go up here and we're gonna grab some steel beams and some. Whoops, yeah, that's a bit. Uh, how much we got? All right, we got a bit. And this one we got a bit good and we can jump down i also build a few of these just to make sure Whoop. all right good stuff so what uh, <clears throat> the last thing i want to do here is to make sure that we upgrade it so that we can actually get a better production because right now we built something for 270 and i cannot even do 270 so that's no good what I want to do is get Logistics Mark III. You can see we also get this very interesting power storage thing, which uh, we are not going to do right now, but uh, it's it's good to know that it's there. Whoop. Unlock tier three. Milestone reached. Logistics can be improved with a larger storage container and enhanced conveyor belt efficiency. That's it. I thought you would say something about the batteries. All right, I guess not. And going up here. I like this. Now that we've built these ramps, we know exactly how to get it. Then it actually is less awful than it you, it was before. And I know some people are like, ah, you just just do it properly. It's like, yeah, well, pff, well, pff, I don't know. I can't do it properly. Uh, what we're gonna do is go here and then press E to get Mark Three belts. And then I need to upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. And that needs to go all the way back. How much we got? We only got 1,000. Only have 1,000. But if we can do this upgrade. Boop, boop. 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 That is going to be great. Uh, I don't think, or I'm pretty sure I don't have enough. But that's uh, that's beside the point. We'll, uh, we'll get as far as we can. How much? We're at 700. And 600. That's still a long way to go. And what if we scan for that one, just so we get a sense. And then E, uh, the one E3. Huh? Still 900 meters away. I think these are lasting like 100 meters. So. It's. Oh, it does say 700 meters now. But I'm also down to 300. Yeah, that's gonna be... I need even more time waiting, I guess. Even more time waiting for this. But, you know, it's it's good to be getting... it. Oh, look at that. We're actually getting close to getting this one done. Boop. And then this one. 2E Mark III. Boom. Alright, much better. And can I copy this and I can't get it there so what would we, we need this part done and then we need all the way down there yeah so that's another I don't know maybe a thousand of those but uh, we're also seeing now that we are getting a much nicer speed here for running that's really nice I think we're gonna wrap up here I uh, I can do I mean what's the point of waiting for this we can uh, we'll, we'll we'll get it and then we can have the whole thing up and running i wanted to get make sure that we got the mark 3 operational this time next time we're going to experiment a bit with the batteries i think that's a good idea and uh, there might be a bit of a break on the the channel with this for the rest of the week but there will be uh, more satisfactory for later on this week so thank you very much for watching and I'll go with the usual, you know the drill. If you like it, hit the like button. If you have comments, hit the comment section. If you have not, then subscribe, then consider subscribing. There's no force. Maybe you don't want to get all my stupid, annoying videos in your f YouTube feed. But if you like what you see here, maybe you want to be notified when there is a new video coming up. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and you know it. As always, stay effective. <laughs>